hello viewers welcome back to my channel news of tech zone so in this video i am going to show something uh, which we have seen in the earlier video so session 10 most of them were asking me that uh, there is a change of view in api manager so they were not able to practice something so uh, yesterday i have shown you like how to deploy the applications in cloud of 2.0 so now i am going to show you on how to you know uh, apply policies in api manager it is the same thing but as the view was changed so people got confused so I just wanted to make a short video on how to uh, apply policies in API manager so going back to API manager you can see till here the UI is the same thing okay the screen is same but here comes the change so when you click on the add API so I am starting from here where you want to apply so designing raml publishing to exchange is already done so now we are going to up create a, you know API instance here so click on add new API so this is the new ui that you are seeing i will explain you more about flex gateway service mesh all those stuff but now for this video we are concerned about mule gateway so this is the same that uh, what i have done in session 10 video okay if you want to apply the policies same like in session 10 so please go through mule gateway so choose the option mule gateway here it will ask whether you want to deploy a proxy application or the basic endpoint you must have seen the same options previously here in the previous version of api manager so but it is a one and the same thing it's just the ui has been changed all right so mule version same thing if your application is mule 4 please select mule 4 okay so now you are in runtime tab so here we are taking this one we are choosing these options go to next so this is the place where you can select your api so search your api earlier we used to you know search from the view was different but here you can search so quickly i will go with uh, existing application so i am choosing my api so runtime is done next api tab so here you can see you can select the options whether you want to take which version of your api version that you designed in raml you can choose it rest all of the changes are same go to next so now you can see two steps are completed so third one is also the same thing if you remember there is an implementation url consumer endpoint it's just the change of ui all right so don't get confused okay now i am leaving all things as it is go to next and you can review your uh, options what you have chosen so runtime type is mule gateway and it is a basic endpoint and the api name versions and the endpoint all right once you click on save you will get the api instance id which is not nothing but auto discovery api auto discovery id from here everything is same right so here currently it is unregistered which is fine because we haven't deployed our application with this api instance id so the same thing you can take this api id and uh, configure it in api auto discovery in your code and coming to policies again here you might have seen there is a difference in the ui right how it was there but it is one and the same okay it is more easy uh, what happened is they have segregated all these policies into different sections for example all categories there are 20 types so when it comes to security these policies comes under security category like OAuth, jwt basic so basic authentication and uh, that's what we have seen the other day right so it comes under security category when it comes to quality of service you can use http policy rate claiming all this so they are segregated into some categories categories but everything is one and the same you can see client id enforcement comes under compliance right all this stuff custom policies if you have any custom policy it will be showing like this so you would forget about that as you are learning your beginners you can just search like what kind of policy you want to apply for example if you want to search basic authentication you can say basic authentication simple and here it shows the category it comes under security category simple select the application go to next and rest of the things are same all right so you can apply and just click on apply that's it the policy is applied and you can view your policies like here right api level policies these are the applied ones and if you want to edit the policy you can go right click on this and edit configuration you can change the policies here so just the view has been changed so don't get much confused when you are doing hands-on and if you want to add another policy you can go ahead so client id enforcement if you can select you can choose this go next 
and you can use all this if you want to move it to basic authentication header you can apply now you can see two policies are applied and they are under security and complex compliance so this is very simple don't uh, get confused uh, contacts is one and the same again so if you go to settings you can find everything uh, hope uh, this video helps you to get started with your hands-on thank you